Welcome to our demonstration on testing virtual machine failure resilience and availability in virtual SAN. Here we have a virtual machine created for our test and dev infrastructure. This virtual machine has storage policy attributes set to ensure availability with a RAID 1 configuration and an additional stripe width. The virtual machine disk files are striped across two disks with a RAID 0 configuration. These details can be seen here, under Physical Disk Placement. You can see some of the components on host ESX01A and other components on ESX03A. Let us now reboot host ESX03A to observe the virtual machine is still running while the host reboots. We call the reason for reboot vSAN testing and click OK. Let us have a look at our virtual machine. It is running top. That is, the virtual machine is running without any interruptions. We switch back to vSphere Client and check the state of host 3. We have a host connection and power state error. We can no longer communicate with host 3 since it is rebooting. Let us look at our virtual machine once more. Navigate to Physical Disk Placement. Close the alarm. You can see some of our components are absent. These components were on host 3. However, the virtual machine is still running we perform a compliance check, which shows we are no longer compliant. Upon further investigation, we find the components are missing in the virtual machine home and the virtual machine hard disk. However, when host 3 is up again, the components will synchronize and our virtual machine will be fully compliant once again. This concludes our demonstration on testing virtual machine failure resilience and availability. Thank you.